Hi, I am reading a book called Unposted Letter from Mahadriya and I'm sharing few messages that I'm learning. Today I've learned a beautiful message. When you want to travel, you have to accept the traffic jams. When you want to be health conscious, you have to accept your tongue conscious. You have to be more conscious about your tongue, about what you eat. With, un- with income, there is always income tax. What I mean to say is, in our life, with everything that you take, there is always a positive and a negative inherence. Let's, there is a beautiful saying which says that if you go into a garden and pluck a lot of roses, it's foolish to think that you will not get hurt by the thorns. So with beauty, there is a little bit of beast. Yeah? Let's say if you're walking in a walking in a street and it's easy to walk, right? And what if I ask you to run? It's not that hard to run. You may run for a minute or two. But if I ask you to run for a marathon of 10 kilometers or 20 kilometers, what would happen? You may not be able to do that because it is a long run and also there is a cost behind it. So the same applies in our life. When we want to just survive, there is no harm. Nothing is going to disturb you. But if you have a purpose, but if you have a cause, if you have a bigger cause, then you're going to see bigger challenges, bigger hurdles. And that's why they say people who handle big problems, the rewards are always bigger for them. If you're dealing with smaller problems, of course you get smaller rewards. And so a life without trouble is not even considered as a life at all. So it's okay that we all have troubles in our life and that indicates that we're going through something and we're going to grow through something. It reminds me the quote, don't go through something, grow through your problems. When you go through your problems, make sure that you grow through your problems. That's a beautiful quote, right? And it reminds me a story as well. So in Bible, there is a beautiful story where a lady visits a silversmith and the silversmith is asking, why are you here? And the lady says, I want to see what are you doing and how you're making silver ornaments. And he said, okay, sit down, let me show you what I do. And he did, he took up a metal and then it's an impurified metal. And then he's, he showed that in the flame, the burning flame. And the lady was sitting and watching what is happening. And she asked, are you going to hold this forever? And he said, yes, I have to hold it. And so it's heat everywhere. How are you able to afford all this? And he said, yeah, that's my job and I do this. And the more and more the time is running up and she's telling, you have to hold this. Uh, He's telling, I'm going to hold this and now it's time for the impurity to go and it's time for this metal to turn to be uh, silver now. And she asked, how would you know that? And he said, I'm going to put this metal in the center of the flame and I will look from the top and the moment I see my face, my reflection, that means that this impure metal has converted into a silver. So that applies in our life as well. When we go through something, I don't know if you believe in God, I don't know if you believe uh, in uh, Hinduism or Buddhism or uh, Jesus, there is some kind of external force which which has more conscious than we are and that is pushing us through every single day. And so that consciousness, I'm not telling uh, religion, that consciousness, that spiritual power is there and it's pushing through us every single day. And when you get purified, when you get purified and when you see yourself, that's when you see that you are out of troubles and you accept the fact that life is full of troubles and then you see yourself and you see your reflection there. So think about it. Whatever trouble that you are going through, that's for a reason. Whatever hardship that you're going through, it's for a reason. And at one day, you're going to completely get impurified and you will look beautiful and you will look your face in there. And you'll understand what a beautiful life I had. Think about it. Bye for now. I'll see you later with another message. Bye for now.